I'd like to call the uh, Town Council Public Forum to uh, uh, agenda at uh, 647 on Monday, August 12th. The first speaker is Linda Kasich. Linda, please, I'm sorry, Lisa. Lisa, please come forward. This is, no, we're gonna continue on now. Otherwise, I, I, no, we, we come up now and start. Lisa, come to the, well, I, then I want to repeat if more people come. No, it doesn't work that way. Well, it works that way with me, my friend. Okay, then I'll adjourn. If nobody comes up, I'll adjourn the meeting right now. Sack, 50 Birds Eye Street, okay, in Stratford. This town council has turned into a absolute disgrace. I know Margo, Margo, right, I know her for years. I don't know you, I don't know you. Uh, where, where is everyone and how can you hold a meeting when no one is here, okay? No one is here. I, I disagree with that. And I think you should take a vote. There's only one person, you take a vote. I'll make one point of clarification. There only has to be one person here from the council for the open forum. For the meeting, there has to be six people, but they may not come till five minutes to eight. Oh, so, isn't that interesting? Yes. So what I'm going to say now None of the council people. It will be on the record. It, it will be on the record. It's being videoed now, so yes, you will be heard. Okay, I won't be heard. If if it's written, perhaps they will see it. But the three things that I want to say tonight are three things that I want everyone to hear. So to have this at 6:45. You know there have been very since you people took over. There have been few to none. Open forum, okay, that's number one. Number two, even if there is an open forum, nobody responds to it. If you take notes, no one reads it. You should be ashamed of yourself. This whole council should be ashamed of yourself, okay? That's the first thing I wanted to say. And I'm sorry that everyone else isn't here to say it. There aren't many people out here, but I hope they say what I'm hearing, what, hear what I'm saying. The second thing is that many months ago, I spoke to, I live in District 1, I spoke to the counselor from District 1, and I said to him, if you go all the way down Bird's Eye Street, which most people know, not the water end, but the other end, it goes into, uh, uh, what's the name of it, somebody, um, no, what? No, it, no, the other way. It go, uh, starts with an H. It, not the dock, the other end of Bird's Eye Street. Who, come on, somebody, help me. What, where's Bird's Eye Road when it goes the other way, not into the world? Honey Spot Road. Come on, everybody here knows Honey Spot Road. Okay, that's Thank you. Road. Yeah, okay. When Bird's Eye Street goes into Honey Spot Road, if you want to go south on 95, you make a slight right onto Honey Spot Road. There are no stripes on the, the street. There are no yellow stripes. There are no lights. There are no signs. I told that to my council person months ago. Nothing has been done. I live there. I go south on 95. There are no lights. You can't even tell where you would turn to go onto 95. And now there's nobody even to hear me that this is the second time I've said it. Okay, anybody making a note of that? Anybody? Thank you. The third thing, about a month or two ago, I live in Tide Harbor, the condominiums. There are two entrances to Tide Harbor. One is on Bird's Eye Street and one is on Elm Street, okay? If you go in the Elm Street entrance, directly across the street from the Elm Street entrance, there's a funny little house. Several months ago, there was a boat outside there with a for sign sail on this boat. Well, I told, maybe it's the man who stands there 
some, somebody who does something about things that are not supposed to be there. Forgive me, I'm not good at names. Who? That man. <laughs> okay. Okay. And something was done about it. And now this is public property. It wasn't on their lawn because there's a sidewalk and then it was on the green. And if that man took care of it, thank you. It had no place there. Well, what do you think is there now since yesterday? A car. A car that says for sale with the price and the phone number. And it's on public property right across from the entrance to the Elm Street entrance of Tide Harbor. So nobody has heard me, nobody is going to respond to me, and my time is up. Thank you. The next speaker is Mitzi Antezo. Mitzi, please come forward and state where you live. Thank you. What is it, three minutes? Five minutes. Five minutes, please. Mitzi Antezo, 367 Windsor Avenue, Stratford. Um, I wrote this, I didn't realize she was going to almost cover part of the same topic. Um, I make an observation that true democracy is really practiced here. It's a shame the other people aren't here to hear it. It's hard to do things on the state level, but you can still go up there and testify on, on, on certain bills. It's impossible, outside of voting, to do much about Washington. So our democracy is here. Every single person that's on this council should know this is our democracy. We have no paper. We get no coverage in the post. It's like a cloak of invisibility has fallen on Stratford. But anyway, on the local level, citizens can participate. You can talk to your local representatives. You can go to various board meetings. You can volunteer. And democracy is really more than voting. And I'm really concerned because I'm of a generation that still remembers Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That's how old I am. I've seen 14 presidents. And what I'm seeing now is democracy is fading. Part of it is because we don't have newspapers. Over a thousand of them have been abandoned around the country, the small towns. And it also, because I re believe that democracy is a very local thing, I'm asking you, and that's the council really, to change your procedures back to what they used to be and listen to the citizens' input and respond to it. Now, I realize when I was on the council, we had some very long-winded people. I would have suggested that maybe you keep it to two or three minutes, and then, bing, they can't talk anymore because there are certain people that talked on and on and on. And I realized that it got to be long. So I would ask you to change your procedures back to what they were with a time limit for responding to people's input. Thank you. The next speaker is Linda Palermo. Linda, please come forward and uh, give us your address. Good evening, Linda Palermo, 46 Vaught Place. I would like to reiterate what Ms. Antezzi just said. We have no communication with the council, unless you catch them out here and you might be able to get a few words in. And I think it's only fair to the public. 
I only ask that you give us something back that was our right. At least we were able to f get some information and have more to say when we came before the council. When this council took office, they changed that around and I do not feel it was fair at all. Also, I will share this with you that are here. I did do an FOI request with regard to an issue pertaining to the salary of the two attorneys that were working on my case. They said I would have to, they were researching it. Now, I don't know how much research it would take since we have an office called the finance department who would be able to give that information out. So I did call FOI. I said I will give it one more week and we're just about at that week now. I am going to let them know that the t town attorney's office is not in compliance with giving the information I've asked. I will let them take it forward and I'm sure what they'll do since we're close to the time when it should have been g given to me, they'll take whatever action they feel is appropriate. And with regard to an issue I briefly spoke to you about last month, I have found what I must do and that I am doing and I have gone to a department of higher caliber than this town attorney's office and they're going to investigate and find out why a claim has not been paid when they had all the evidence provided to them under statutory law, meaning discovery. It's quite disturbing to think that they would try to get away with not paying me because this 81-year-old broad is gonna do whatever she has to to get her answers. And I guess that's just about what I have to say. And wh whoever's here that is going to be running for office, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Linda. Before I adjourn the meeting, are there any other speakers? If not, um, okay, just come up and state your name. I know the routine. <laughs> I'm Sybil Friedman. I live at 170 Brookside Drive. And I kind of would like to second what's been said. I feel like the town council is showing great disrespect to the citizens. Um, I have brought this up with individual counselors and I've been told that they like the, the silence, the fact that there's not the, all the excitement that we used to have. And I want to remind you, democracy, you've heard it a million times, democracy dies in the dark and in the silence. And I kind of feel like it's happening on a national level and it's happening here. And it's pretty sad. I hope you can do something about it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to adjourn the meeting at 7.01. Thank you. show up. I've got six and if Wally shows up, seven. Six we need. And Wally will be seven. So I'm, I'm, I'm that's why if you notice the agenda was as light as I could make it. Because people are on vacation. Yeah, that's Yeah, there's three. And then the mayor's on. There's four people. She's not going to leave. They're just going to submit a written report. So, you know, Mike is there.